is a wig cap and a doll head it doesn't really matter which one you use this paper one that's like two dollars or you can get the mannequin one i find it easier to use the one that's more like mannequin um because it's more sturdy and then i have my needles and thread into this pillow i already threaded it so it could be faster i think it's about eight needles um let's see here so now i'm going to um thread this needle Show you guys how I pull it through. And you want to make sure it's even before you cut it. So that's what I'm doing right here. Oh yeah, baby. So now I'm tying it in a knot. I'm double knotting it actually. Alright girl, come on. Hurry up, hurry, hurry up, hey, hurry up, hurry, hurry up. So I got scissors, thread, and then this hair that I'm showing you guys. This one that I'm holding currently is a 14 inch. This is in the brand Winner. And then the one that I'm grabbing right here is a 12 inch, which I'm probably not gonna use, but both of those came in a pack for only like $57. So I was like, okay, that's cool. But I don't think I'm going to use the 12 inch. I'm just going to do the 14 and the 16 inch that I'm about to show you guys right now. So this is the Saga Remy, Brazilian Remy, and that's a 16 inch. And this right here is the Saga Naked 4x4 lace closure that I'm going to be using for this wig. So this is what it's looking like. It's really, really soft. Um, I love this texture. It looks uh, it looks natural like it comes natural. So that's a good thing You don't really have to do too much to it All right, so this part could be a little tricky You want to make sure that you are cutting right down below like how I'm showing you guys Because if you rush and you just cut it any kind of way you can mess up the closure So what I'm doing right here is cutting the lace off you want to leave a little bit of lace on there so it'll look natural. So I'm putting the closure down to the left side so the hair can fall down to my right side of my face. So right now what I'm doing is pinning the needles um, down. That way it could be sturdy when I go ahead and sew it on. So I'm pinning needles down on both sides of the head. So now what I'm doing is sewing the back of this closure. And um, excuse my ashy hands. I know they're super ashy. I actually have a rash I broke out on my hands because I, I wash my hands way too much. And also cleaning dishes. So my hands look a little rough. So excuse that. So right now I am sewing the back of this and I'm going under and pulling through, under and pulling through. And I just keep repeating the same process and I'm doing the stitches close together. So now I'm putting this part into a ponytail. That way it can be out of my way and I can go ahead and start sewing down the sides. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm pulling under, going through, under and pulling through. And I'm doing that all the way down. Now I'm measuring the hair. 
from one side to the other side and then once I measure it I'm going in and I'm sewing this track down doing the same technique pulling it under the same technique pulling it under going through all the way around Right here, I'm showing you guys how to knot this without having to cut the string. So you just wanna wrap it around the needle. And once you wrap it around the needle, you're gonna go ahead and pull that through. And bam, you have your knot. Makes life so much easier. And that way, you don't have to cut it. I don't know why I did, but you can keep sewing through. You don't have to cut it off. But that's an easy way to go ahead and tie the thread. And this is what it's looking like so far. And now I'm done with my wig and I'm going to go ahead and cut out this extra part here where the lace closure is. This is what's going to make it look a lot natural right here. This is going to make it look good. So you want to cut that black piece out and that's how it should look when you're done. So when I flip it over, you guys see how natural the part looks. Now this part, uh, there's some technical difficulties. Uh, this is my grandpa's old, um, what do you want to call these? Blade? Razor blade? Whatever. <laughs> it didn't work, so I had to go in with the scissors. I guess it was too old, so it just wasn't working out. And I'm praying right here that it comes out right, because this is my first time cutting. I don't cut. This is not my, you know, this is not my thing. I'm not professional in this. So this is my first time cutting. It was very scary, but I was like, you know what? The only way to learn is to try and practice so I'm going in a diagonal direction so I started off cutting really really short on the left side and as I go to the right side I'm getting longer and longer as you guys can see it's really choppy <laughs> but you guys will see I'll keep going back in to try to make it as even as possible this is difficult trying to do this with scissors. So now I'm going back in and I'm trying to cut it to where it could be even. And bam. Okay, you guys. So this is what the wig looks like on. Um, eventually, I think it will lay flatter. I just didn't do my braids extra small. They're just really big. So um, they're big and going straight back. So once I do them, uh, do them a lot smaller, I'm sure it will lay down a lot flatter. Um, my cut isn't perfect. Uh, I was trying to use the clippers, but the clippers just wasn't working for me. So I took some scissors, and this is what happened. I don't think it's bad, but it's obviously not perfect either. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. So what I'm going to do is bump the ends. But before I do that, I want to try and make this part look a little natural, more natural. So, I mean, I would take water and just slick it down. But I'm gonna take some, some of this spray here and just... Maybe 
that might work. So then I'm going to go ahead and take the concealer and the color fawn, put it on the back of my hand, just a little bit, and then I'm going to go in with this angled eyebrow brush and dip it in there, and I'm going to go ahead and go all the part with it. Look a little more natural. Alright, let's bump the ends now. This is going to be kind of quick because I got to go pick up my child from school. I'm going to go ahead and just bump the ends just a little bit. So, all right, you guys. So this is my finished look on this wig that I created. I think it's cute. Um, of course, practice makes perfect, but I think this will do. Like this looks really, really pretty to me. Like okay, like, I'm really feeling it. It's like I'm really feeling this. Like I didn't know if I was gonna look right in this type of style, but uh. It came out great. Yes, it did. I like it. It's cute. I'm a little scared to turn around and show y'all the back because I don't know what the back look, looks like at all. So, let's see. Alright, you guys. So This is the finish. Um, look that um, I have. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead, comment those questions down below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys um, want to see more videos and me make more wigs and makeup tutorial or whatever, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. All right. And for all the new subscribers, thank you very, very much. And all the subscribers that have been holding me down for a long time, thank you as well. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, I guess I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.